Hey, it's Tyler here with the CorpusFishing.com Weekend Outlook for this Thursday, January 18th, 2024. We're at Oso Bay Wetlands Preserve because it's not freezing and it's not too windy, but it is a lot warmer than it was, and we have another front coming for this weekend. Guess what? So another chance of uh, freezing weather on Friday night, Saturday morning. But after that, we have a chance of rain, and it looks like it'll rain through the middle of next week. So things are changing here uh, towards the middle of the end of January. Also this weekend, it's the last weekend for South Zone Sandhill Crane Hunting and for south zone dove and for i think it's for bucks you can go to antlerless and does uh spikes that thing and next weekend and then the last season of duck hunting will be the 27th to 28th also coming up on the 27th and 28th the 27th is the kid fish out at lake mathis that's a free event they're stocking 2,000 rainbow trout out there and that will be going on from 8 30 until i believe around two o'clock and the reason i looked on the, the map and it says well you can't fish out there they're having a, a, a trout stocking on the 28th well the 28th is when you can fish for them this is only for the kid fish for the kids on the 27th so after that you can fish for those uh, rainbow trout some 2000 at lake mathis so some of the things going on i tried to go down the beach today but uh, it, it wasn't a pomp window the uh, winds were calmer but the water was muddy yesterday was muddy all the way down 62 miles down to port mansfield jetty and about as far as you could see today it's gotten better but it's still dirty so i wouldn't expect any pompano for the next uh, few stretches of days however they were catching a few pompano uh prior to that and some black drum and some redfish so of uh, whiting of course and you can always get those pops in there occasionally but the temperature got down into the 50s on the seashore so they tend to move offshore so inside the bays there is a lot of, uh, well, the water came in, then it came out, got cold. A lot of folks caught those uh, bigger trout and uh, redfish and drum in the canals and the deeper areas along the drop-offs. Uh, some of them, like our friend Oz caught one 29 and a half uh, inch trout, and I guess others caught some, you know, good six, seven pounds. Uh, that action will slow down because it's warmed up some. So they'll come back and go up near the flats as the sun comes out. But again, another front holds back. So they'll be around the deeper areas just going back and forth depending upon the amount of sunshine we get. And it looks like it's going to rain for a lot of that time. This report is brought to you by our many fine sponsors at CorpusFishing.com. Like uh, the uh, Wind and Wave. Also, the Bait Bucket, my friends at Roy's Bait and Tackles. Of course, the Causeway, that's a great place. If you want to fish during the cold weather, the Causeway, man, that Humble Channel in there, those fish use that like a highway in that warming water in between both uh, the, the highway over there and the other side by the uh, power lines. That is one place to fish. Also, uh, our other sponsors like Fish Bites, we appreciate them. Great bait, use that with or without shrimp, and you can catch just about anything that eat shrimp and uh, also coming up soon will be the big ugly season those big black drum that you want to let go they'll be you know probably one of the biggest fish you can catch in the laguna if you're a kid on a rod and reel it'll be like a 40 pound drum that goes on from about oh another week or two until the middle of march and of course the sheep said we'll be biting on those jetty rocks so for more reports and more uh, you know interesting stories come see us at corpusfishing.com